It's just all kind of janked out. Well, that was a great time for a freaking buzzard to show up. As soon as I get to the top of this hill, buzzard, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. And you too, lady. How about both of you? We'll get a twofer in. Are you dead? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty as I'm. They're all set to nightmare speed. Uh, this map is almost entirely made up of the wasteland generated by the nitrogen world generator, and we are on the hunt for a green biome. There's one small forest biome on the, in this world somewhere, and we have been looking for it for a long time, and we still have not found it. So if you... Uh, are new to the series and you haven't been following along, basically we have um, uh, been to the northwest, we've been all the way to the north, and we've been to the northeast, and then kind of down the eastern coastline, and then kind of cross back over here. I have been far enough um, over towards this area to where I could visibly see, and I'm pretty damn sure there's no forest biome over here either. Um, there's a mountain range that kind of goes all along this way, and then there's a big lake right about here. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's no forest biome there. So we are ready to get started on the next leg of our journey, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to head southeast because we also have a, a buried treasure. And so we're going to follow um, this road. See, this is our town here. So we're going to follow uh, this road. We, You know what we might try and do is go down this road and see where it goes. Uh, but, you know, with uh, the intent to, to hit the southeast. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I am all ready to go. I uh, got all my ammo uh, replenished. We've got more ammo cooking up in here and some duct tape. Um, got a whole bunch of brass in here. Actually, yeah, I'm glad I checked this. So let's get... Um, let's wait for that to finish, and then I'll, I'll throw the clay in here, too, and... Uh, we will make a whole bunch of bullet casings, so by the time we get back, we will have, well, a whole bunch of bullet casings. <laughs> we have uh, we have 476 left in there, too. Okay, so let's... Uh, actually, you know what? We've got a pretty decent amount of clay in there. I'm just going to divide that up uh, into two, and then let's go ahead and... We can make a couple bullet tips, but 508... Uh, bullet casings, which is pretty nice. Okay, we're all fooded up. We're all drunk up. Dr that didn't sound right. <laughs> we're hydrated. That's what I'm trying to say. We're hydrated. Uh, we've got a full stack of gasoline, a cooking pot, and some honey in our mini bike. You know, we haven't repaired this in a while. Let's just go ahead and do that now. We didn't really need to, but let's just do it. And uh, we're off. We're off to do this. Okay, so let's see. What did I say I wanted to do? If we go down this road, oh, this road here, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if that continues on that direction, though. Maybe we won't go down that one for now. We'll see. Let's let's get over there first and take a look-see at it and see what it's looking like. If you guys did not catch the last episode, man, you got to watch it. That was It was Horde Night 4, or Horde Night 28, but the fourth Horde Night. And oh man, it was crazy. It was really crazy. And uh, just absolutely nuts. <laughs> okay, no, we want to go this way. Right? Yeah. And the base, you know, the base that I was using is not going to, it's not going to work for the next Horde Night. Uh, it barely, barely held up, you know, for, for last night. And had we gone any longer than we did, it, it might have even collapsed at that point, so... Okay, so this is the road we would take if we were going to go back that direction. This one... This one is still going to the southeast. So let's... Let's just take it and see what happens. When we're on these little exploration trips, I... I don't do a whole lot of looting. I do some looting, but... You know, inventory space is really tight, so we have to be judicious about what we loot and how much we loot and that sort of thing. Let's deal with this bastard. Okay, so this is going to wrap around and go south.
All right, there's dinner. We will stop for snakes. Uh, where's my thingamadoodle? There we go. Come here, buddy. Snakes have been a really good uh, supply of meat for us here in the wasteland. Fan freaking tastic. All right, let's just go kind of over into this valley, I guess. Oh, looks like that's the end of the road. No, actually, no, the road's going up. Is it going up here? I think so. It's just all kind of janked out. Well, that was a great time for a freaking buzzard to show up. As soon as I get to the top of this hill, buzzard, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. And you too, lady. How about both of you? We'll get a twofer in. Are you dead? Yeah. All right. Um... Why do I have that in my inventory? Damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring that. Um, we did find the purple baseball bat. I was I, I was actually swinging it around earlier, just kind of testing it out, and I was meant to put it back in the, the thingamadoodle, uh, but we didn't get it in there. Okay, so we got an easy over there. That kind of goes off up into the mountains, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep going this way. How are we going back northeast again? Oh, right. Okay, I see what's going on. This will work. There's a ranger station. Let's just stop over here real quick and just pop the safe. Might as well. It's really easy to get to. Uh, the safe is over here. This guy's gonna aggro us, so we as well just kill him now. Okay. We'll probably get the attention of some sleepies, too. We do have some lockpicks, actually. Let's try them. I've had the worst luck with lockpicks in this series. If you guys have been watching all along, you <laughs> you know that. Oh man, the worst the worst time was we were on top of the um, the Shamway factory several episodes back. I had 15 lockpicks in my inventory, and it took all 15 to open the chest on the top of that roof. I was so pissed. All right. Not that good of stuff, I guess, but hey, it's free ammo. Free ammo. Okay, let's keep moving here. Yeah? It's a big old dippity do in the ground, isn't it? I am really, really wanting to find that green biome, though, man. I'll tell you what. I mean, it's... It's it's been really fun, you know, playing here in the wasteland and doing what we're doing. But I want the, I want to get to the green bomb just so I can have a bit of a a reprieve and be able to uh, you know get get leveled up and get geared up before we go back out into the wasteland. Look, okay, there's two coal nodes right there. We got to get rid of that bar. Cause we're gonna we're gonna jack the uh, sham or not the shamway the um, what's I'm gonna call it shotgun messiah crate on the top of this overpass thing I'm doodle go away bear like go way away bear I don't want to deal with you you'll soak up half of my ammo okay. Okay, I guess he's far enough over. All right. I think we want to be right there. We 
reach that from here? There are sleepers up here. All right, well here, let's get into here quick. Because they're gonna knock my thing down. Edgar, look out. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like we got some time charges, a spear, and something else. There's another ranger station. We could hit the safe there. Might as well. It's like we're up on a little bit of a plateau, so we can look out over the edge of the valley here and see if we can spot something good. Okay, let's do this first. Oh, we got a burning shaft mod. Frickin' awesome. All right. So we're at 85 melee, 142 power attack. Now we went up to 89 and 147. That's great. And we still have one more slot, too. Very cool. Okay, let's see. Where is... What am I looking for? I'm looking for the master key. That's what I'm looking for. That's somebody's attention. All right, let's try our lock picks. Come on, hurry up, lockpick. <laughs> we don't have all day. We got a Zeker trying to come and eat us. All right, there we go. Uh, weapon flashlight mod. Okay. I don't care about the iron knuckles. Is it just you, little girl? Oh, yeah. I thought I heard another one. Oh, what the hell? Are we good? How did that get unloaded? Yeah, burning shaft mod. That's awesome. And the weapon flashlight. Do we have room on here? No, we don't. This is ma maxed out, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, we don't need it on there. It would just add a little extra damage to it is all. Uh, none of these guys have any extra slots, so we'll just hang on to that for now. This is usually just a like a dishwasher or something crappy like that. Well, you know, we'll, we would get uh, a radiator that, maybe, but we got to be conservative. Okay, let's take a look out uh, into this valley here and see if... There's anything interesting that we can see. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get a little bit of height here. Okay. Let's get our scope out. All right, well, there is nothing in visible, invisible range that I can see from here. That uh, goes off towards the buried treasure, so we're going to kind of head in that direction. 
But, you know, beyond that little cabin there, it's it gets a little bit too hazy to really make anything out anyway. And I think that cabin is right about here-ish. I'm not mistaken. So there's still a whole lot more land to explore. Okay, it's 12.30, so we're doing okay on time. Everybody loaded? All right, let's go. Uh, so we're going to head towards the treasure. Okay, we got another snake. couple other things in here too. We'll put the time charges, we'll put the extra pistol. If we find another pistol, uh, we'll scrap them for the parts to conserve space. Um, oh yeah, we got this iron spear. But our steel spear is better in pretty much every way, so I think we're just going to scrap that. All right, we're a little bit hurt, so let's go ahead and make a normal bandage. No, no, don't repair that. Nope, 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 scrap it. Scrap it, scrap it. Okay, let's take this. Then we'll throw back a pill and a couple waters. I'm going to keep our empty jars because at some point we'll probably have to make more water when we stop for the night. All right, let's go. Yowzers! That is one hell of a steep cliff there. Uh, <laughs> damn. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get around here. We're like on the edge of a butte here. There we go. Thing's pretty sheer. Always nice when we can travel on the highway. Okay, so the highway is... Oh, I thought I saw um, one of those water coolers, and those can give you the mineral water sometimes. All right, so let's see. We're going northeast, which is kind of not the direction I wanted to go. But it looks like we're going to intersect. Yeah, okay. We're going to intersect with this highway because this is the highway I want to be on. So hopefully we'll find something good in this buried treasure. Uh, we found like uh, almost 4,000 coin in the last buried treasure that we did. Not not the not the uh, the trader ones, but the you know the normal map ones. We we'll probably have at least two buzzards on our tail right about now. 
Damn buzzards. Damn them buzzards. Well, make that three. <laughs> Got a little bit of a two-lane highway going on here. Okay, let's just head directly for the treasure. Yeah, I know, I know. We got a crevasse here. All right, let's deal with this buzzard. Good one, old guy. Son of a bitch infected us. That's why we've got these. We learned our lesson from last time. <laughs> We were way the hell out in the boonies, and I got infected, and I didn't have any honey with me. Uh, so when I w went, made it back to the base, I had, had to take a, a real, you know, a normal antibiotic. And, I, you know, fortunately I had them, so it wasn't... A, in the long run, it all worked out, but uh, I would have preferred not to have burned that. I still have three more, though, so not a big deal. All right. That buzzard is in stasis. We love buzzards in stasis. Yes, we do. They're our favorite thing. <laughs> All right, let's pull that back. Okay, we got one of these ginormous crevasses here. How close are we to the treasure? Okay, it's right on the other side. Oh, and there's water down in there, too. Interesting. Um... Okay, let's... Let's follow it along this way, I guess. See if we can find a way across. Hopefully, I think we can probably get across down here. Oh! Can we? Damn! Here, we have to go this way. That thing is deep. Look at that thing. Wow. Wouldn't want to fall down there, man. I'll tell you what. Would not want to fall down there. All right, so let's see here. Um, the loot in this place is pretty easy to get to. There's a dude right around the corner there. Uh, what's uh, our stripper friend doing? Did she fall down in the in the in the crack? <laughs> okay. There's usually a zombie right there in that corner. See if we can do this somewhat quietly. Okay.
Okay, that's already blocked. Uh, all right, we'll take both of those. Take the ammo pile. Uh, I want the black die off of those for our stealth outfit later on. Just for role-playing purposes, it doesn't really matter as far as the game's concerned, but I think it's cool. It's too bad those didn't stack, though. All right. What do we got in the working stiffs? More motor tool parts. That's probably worth keeping. I'm starting to hang on to relatively high-value stuff. Because, you know, we're going to find a trader in the green forest biome. Let's go check this workbench here really quick. There might be another Zeker in here, but if there is, we'll just take him out. Yeah, usually there's one right there. Oh, here's one. Okay, I think we just got somebody's attention. Run, run, run. Time to leave. Okay, our treasure's off this way. It's up on this hill. Take this now. I've already got like, I don't know, 19 motor tool parts back at the base. We've actually been pretty fortunate finding that stuff. So, uh, later on when the time comes, if we want to, we can make ourselves a blue auger. If we don't find a better one before then. Uh, let's put that stuff in there too. Shotgun parts and rifle parts. Put those two guys in there as well. We're already running out of space, man. <laughs> uh, this, we're just going to scrap. Oh, man, I hope that treasure's not on the side of this hill. Doggone it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It is right down here. We got Lucky Looter 4, so that's supposed to narrow the treasure down by quite a bit. Let's see, it's probably more right about here. Okay, let's start digging. Uh, we got Fido over there, so he's going to come after us. I don't want him jumping down our head when we get down in there. Okay, any more Zekers in the area? Got that stripper wandering around down there somewhere, but... Alright, we want to be right about here-ish, I'm guessing. Okay, let's do this. Let's make sure all of our weapons are loaded. See? Look at that. Can't take me anywhere. Okay. That way, if something does jump on our head, we'll be ready for him at least. There it is, right there. <laughs> Look at that. The last buried treasure took me like five minutes to find it. Okay, what do we got? 
Over 4,000 coin. Okay, I will take that. Actually, I will absolutely take that. We'll add that to our 3,000 and some odd back at the base. I'm not going to keep stones with us. All right, so we did the treasure. Um, I guess the thing to do now is keep heading to the southeast. So, in general, we're probably working our way towards maybe right around there-ish. Let's do this. Hopefully this road will keep going in that general direction. Looks like we're about out of time here, too, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, and end the episode here, guys, and when we come back in the next episode, we will continue southeast looking for the forest biome. Go ahead and pause the game. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.